I actually um, first saw this recipe on the Rachel Ray show like I don't know I think when I only had three children <laughs> instead of four but um, I found the recipe that I found that it came in really handy because we typically spend anywhere from two to five dollars for like little 14 ounce um, jars of spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce and with a family of six it's easy to use two jars in one sitting and you know then you have to like run back out to the store or you like buying all these three four five dollar jars of spaghetti sauce okay so here are my ingredients of course my trusty olive oil that i'm going to use to saute the onions that i already have cut up you can put as much or as little as you like um this is like almost a whole onion i had like a really gigantic sized onion so um here's a few cloves of um garlic and i had some uh leftover fresh herbs i think this is like thyme and um uh oregano um that i had but i also have some um dry herbs i have some um basil here um i have some more oregano um, and I have this um, Mediterranean rotisserie seasoning that I picked up and even though it's for like lamb or whatever but it just really adds a different <laughs> kind of flavor um, to my red sauces of course my favorite um, Hawaiian um, red salt my lemon pepper um, here's a leftover um, container of tomato sauce I'm going to use that up here's another can of tomato sauce and I have a can of um, diced tomatoes. I have my onions and garlic um, in the pan, sauteing them. Um, next, I'm going to add um, my dried spices um, to the mix and kind of get that going. But I just kind of want the onions to um, cook down a little bit before I add the my uh, dried spices okay so here's my palm full and I just dump it in so I've added the other palm full of spices and I'm just going to kind of get that going let those kind of meld together with the onion the garlic um, and the olive oil and when this kind of kind of starts to absorb a little bit I'm going to then add my tomato sauce I've added one box of tomato sauce and now I'm going to add my 24 ounce can of uh, diced tomatoes let me take the lid off here so it doesn't fall into the sauce and you don't have to use diced tomatoes but uh, you know I kind of like the you know the fresh quote unquote <laughs> uh, tomato feel of the sauce of course if you have um, if you have like fresh tomatoes you can always do that. I found a recipe. Well, I didn't find it. Someone sent me a recipe um, to make a, a pasta sauce using fresh tomatoes. Of course, since I live in the middle of the desert, uh, I have yet to find a farmer's market. <laughs> so, um, you know, I use canned tomatoes and that's why I use um, a, a can. I use canned tomato sauce, but that's why I also use a can of diced tomatoes just to kind of, you know, add like a little chunkiness to it. However, you don't have to do that. So this is what the sauce looks like um, with all the herbs and um, the cans of tomato in it. Now, what you're going to want to do, you can turn it down because you really kind of want to simmer it because um, I really like to let the sauce cook for a while so that it doesn't you know taste like tomatoes I want it to actually taste like pasta sauce so I'm going to put a lid on this um, I salt and peppered it to my liking so I'm going to put a lid on this and I'm going to let it simmer um, 
probably for about 30 minutes. Of course, you want to check it um, from time to time because you don't want to burn the sauce and you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Um, and then we'll be back to show um, what it looks like after it's simmered. I'm checking um, the sauce and it's starting to bubble up. And the color is starting to change and I'm starting to smell it. So I'll probably let this cook. Well, it doesn't really have to cook, but I do want the flavors to kind of mesh together. So I'll probably let that cook for about another 30 minutes and then I'll let it cool. So typically what I do whenever I make sauce like this, I'll take, um, depending on what I want to make for that week, but typically I'll take half of it and freeze it so that I can have sauce for a later date. Um, if you want to add some kind of uh, meat product or meat to it, like ground beef or some kind of um, meat uh, product, like we have some... Um, meat product that we use it's not soy um i really don't know what it, i know what it isn't but i don't exactly know what it is um and it's called uh grounds and we get this from whole foods um or you can get it from any other natural um food uh store so this is what i use to do like if I want to do like a spaghetti sauce or if I'm doing um, a lasagna I'll just use that and then add that to my I'm laughing because baby number three is making some blah 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 um, noises so typically what I'll do is I'll add the little meat things to the sauce um, for like spaghetti or if I want to make lasagna. Um, since I don't think I'll be making spaghetti anytime soon, I'm going to freeze half of it and um, some of it I'm going to use to make um, pizza tomorrow <laughs> and maybe the rest of it I'll use to uh, make spaghetti at some other point in time. So, this is um, Allie and uh, <laughs> Ayana signing off. You want to say bye to my YouTube friends? Bye bye. Bye bye. You say bye bye YouTube friends. Oh, uh, okay. And I don't think they can see you. You say bye bye YouTube. Say bye YouTube friends. You want to say bye again? Bye. Okay. And <laughs> okay, so that's me um, signing off, and I'll see you some other time. Okay, so this is what my sauce looks like, um, and it actually smells like really good. It smells. It doesn't smell to tomato. It has a very herby smell to it. So, once this cools, I'll be able to um, freeze a big portion of it and the rest um, I can use during the week uh, as I need.